As science has progressed in the last century, the questions it's asked become more and more fundamental and, 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 and merge with the questions of theology. But as you get closer and closer to the questions of the origin of the universe, the beginning, do we live in a single universe? How will the universe end? Uh, these questions, in some sense, beg for meaning. And that's what theology is all about yeah. as well. And I think that that fascination has come about specifically because they appear to be so similar, although in fact they're quite different. And I think it's really important to stress that. And as we get to those fundamental questions about where do we come from, where are we going, science appears to be able to address these questions of meaning. And then for some people, the distinction between science and theology blurs. And I think that's very dangerous for both fields. The nature of theology is searching for meaning and is there a God and how we relate to that God and what happens after we die and all that but stuff. But also one has to add that theology also has a cosmogony. Theology is based on, uh, on origin stories. Almost all theologies are at some level. And of course that is where it comes into conflict with science. But at some point if you, if you ask is there meaning? You have to ask, how do we get here or why are we here? And that's, for me, one of the key areas where there's both a tension and a symbiotic relationship. I think all sensible theologians realize this, that theology was designed to answer many scientific questions before there was science, to try and provide a perspective of, of, of our own place in the universe right now. And it came up with stories. And those stories are just that, stories. And they have been supplanted by scientific understanding. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think uh, people, theologians from St. Augustine on have said the Bible should not be taken as a scientific document. And that is what's dangerous when people say, well, those stories that people came up with to make sense of their existence at a time before we had science must be true. But when it comes Certainly to- Certainly expresses the need of the emotion to understand these things. Exactly. And what science hasn't done in some sense is say, you know, we're, we're fulfilling that need. You should, you should get the same kind of, in some sense, spiritual uh, pleasure out of, of science. Religion has these little creation myths. Science has the Big Bang. What, you know, which is better? Richard Feynman used to say that understanding how a rainbow worked did not make the rainbow less wonderful. In fact, it made it more wonderful. And the, the amazing facets of what we now understand to be the true origin story really um, dwarf, in my opinion, the, the, the Adam and Eve story. And, and I think what science should be doing to present itself as not a threat, but in fact something that helps raise the human spirit is to say, with our brains, we've, we've recognized this remar these remarkable facets of the universe and understanding the universe to be so remarkable did not diminish it.